from the WDIO Broadcast Studios. This is Eyewitness News at 10 Sunday on WDIO WIRT. Good evening, I'm Ryan Junty. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Duluth community is mourning the loss of a young man who died tragically yesterday. 15-year-old Will Schlodick died after he jumped into an area known as the Deeps in Lester Park Saturday evening. Our Amy Adamley learned more about Will and the mark he has left on his community. 15-year-old Will Schlodick was with three friends in Lester Park Saturday when tragedy struck. He jumped into an area known as the Deeps in Lester River and did not resurface. And the initial response to an area like that where we uh, have a swift water rescue that we can actually get into the water and look for that person is to stage people along the banks of the rivers, uh, on bridges where areas cross, just to try to watch uh, for the victim to resurface and, and try to make a rescue at that point. Rescuers found Will unconscious in the water just north of London Road. They performed CPR and transported him to a local Duluth hospital where he later died. Will wasn't the first to jump at this popular swimming spot. This is a shot of someone else jumping earlier this summer. The Deeps is a dangerous area that has been the scene of tragedy in the past. And when the streams become like that and what people don't know, even if they think they can swim faster in the current, the currents will actually pull you under and can pin you pin you down underneath the water. Will was the oldest of five and his neighbor says he looked forward to every day. He was going to be a sophomore at Duluth East this year and was known for his love of lacrosse. Duluth East says their hearts are with Will's family and friends. They'll have counselors available at school next week as friends, family, and community members try to come to terms with this tragic loss. In Duluth, Amy Adamley for Eyewitness News. The St. Louis County Sheriff's Office wants to warn people of the dangerous water conditions at the Deeps. A GoFundMe page was set up in Will's honor to help the family at this tragic time, and we'll have a link to that on our website, WDIO.com.